the last reality and cube queen have been defeated. The seven and their master plan is now revealed and the Fortnite island has completely flipped thanks to the work of the foundation. It's going down in Fortnite chapter three and things are moving fast. All of this is leading up to a huge war between the seven and the imagined order. And so with chapter three finally here, some of Fortnite's greatest mysteries have been solved. Let's continue where we left off at, at the end of chapter two. After months of anticipation, the Cube Queen finally completed her work on the Pyramid. This huge structure was designed to make a sideways rift big enough to summon the entire last reality onto the island. And that plan was set in motion once the Queen activated her bubble during the event, bringing her entire army to the Fortnite Island. But we weren't going down without a fight. The Loopers stole supplies from the Imagined Order and created their own fort south of Pleasant Park. The Blue Cube that had been lying dormant the entire season noticed us fighting back and decided to come and join the fight, creating a huge shield around the fort to protect us from the invaders. As the Queen summoned the last reality to the island, everything was revealed. The old mothership was just one of thousands, all controlled by the cube's cradle, the true mothership. This is 10 times the size of the regular ships that we're used to, with a huge golden cube right in the center of it. But we don't have time to admire it, because we're fighting one of the strongest opponents the island has ever seen, trying to hold off her army of cube monsters. Eventually, the UFOs abduct our weapons, and the blue cube tries to protect us, but unfortunately, it can't hold them off for long. With this sacrifice, our shields are down, our weapons are gone, and all hope is lost. The Cube Queen is going to win the war for the island, but then we're brought underground to the bridge. Sloane has captured John Jones as revenge for rebelling against the Imagined Order in Season 5, and she begins the interrogation. But luckily, right before any damage can be done, a familiar face comes in to save the day. Impossible. I watched you die. I got over it. You! <laughs> you came back for me. You promised me, Jeno. Well, love you too, buddy. So the bridge is now collapsing due to the last reality's attack on the island, but the foundation is here for a reason. He tells Jones to disable the gyro of the Zero Point, completing phase two of his plan to take down the Imagined Order. Back on the island, the visitor and scientist come and save the loopers just before the cube monsters get to them. Everyone regroups, but not before. So with the cube queen being submerged in the water, her portal to the sideways closed, she is defeated for now. And that's where our story begins in Fortnite Chapter 3. The Imagined Order and the Seventh's Conflict is beginning to spark, and it's time to choose a side that will determine the fate of this new island and the Zero Point. The island's inhabitants are currently fractured into different groups, with the most important being the Seven. There are special audio tapes on the island left by the scientists that explain the Seven's mysterious history and help us understand the inner workings of the group. We'll touch more on them later, but it's important we talk about the other factions on the island that will also play a key role. There's a new society created by the snapshots of John Jones, and also a POI that many believe believed to be owned by Midas, teasing his return in this chapter. Of course, we can't forget about the Imagined Order who are secretly drilling their way to the Seven's hideout. And these are the only ones we're aware of, as the Foundation reveals many other threats will present themselves as the battle for the Zero Point continues. And so now that you're up to speed with the elements at play, it is time we break down all of the clues and hints that reveal the future of Fortnite Chapter 3, starting with the secrets of Reality Zero. When it was revealed that the Fortnite map actually had a second island underneath it this entire time, a lot of us were sitting there scratching our heads. It seemed like it came out of nowhere, even if they had been teasing it since Season 5's trailer. But if you're confused about how there was even a second island in the first place, you're probably not alone, so let's break it down. Because of Chapter 3, we now know that the entirety of Reality Zero isn't just one island, it's a circle with the Zero Point in the center. When the Zero Point created the Fortnite island to protect itself, it actually made two of them, one above and one below, protecting its every angle. Now you might think this means the Chapter 3 Island has just been underwater this whole time, but the ocean is actually just between the islands, kind of like a filling in a sandwich. But now that the islands have been flipped, the Chapter 3 map is now the one in the loop, with the old island being left to Mother Nature after the failed invasion of the last reality. 
But by far, the biggest mystery solved by the Chapter 2 finale event was that of the bridge. We always wonder why the IO's base was underneath the island, or how it got its name in the first place, and now we know. It's called the bridge because it's the only way to get through the ocean from one island to the other. And another one of Fortnite's biggest head scratchers was the tapes left by the scientist in Season X, where he actually says that they must protect the bridge at all costs. It didn't make sense at first. Why would the Seven want to protect the IO's headquarters? But then with the recent event, this was actually explained. During the Chapter 2 finale, the scientist makes a few odd voice lines. When the caretaker is banging on the glass, the scientist says this. The surface is lost, but we should be safe here. Warning. Rotation at 60 degrees. You call this safe? It'll hold. It's rated for a thousand times atmospheric pressure. Well, what about that? Be ready to swim. Not only does a scientist have weird random inside knowledge about the bridge, it's also interesting how the foundation knew exactly what to do in order to flip the island and control the gyro of the zero point. It's starting to seem like the Seven built the bridge, and this is the theory. It seems extremely likely at this point that hundreds of years ago, the Seven built the bridge as a way to connect both islands and protect the zero point. But eventually, the imagined order led by Geno took over the bridge, gained control of the zero point, forcing the Seven to retreat to the sanctuary on the Chapter 3 island, where they have lived ever since. Now, if you listen to the Foundation, he tells John Jones to disable the gyro. So why would disabling it make the island reveal the Chapter 3 map, unless this map was the original island before the imagined order flipped it, so they could get rid of the Seven and continue experimenting with the loop? And that brings us to the Seven themselves, as well as Geno. The new totem rocks at the Sanctuary actually revealed the entire lineup of the Seven, and after years, we could finally fill in all of the silhouettes with names. The Foundation, the Scientist, the Visitor, and the Paradigm are who we've known so far. But Chapter 3 has revealed that the names of the last members of the Seven are the Sisters and the Origin. And so with the Sisters revealed as members of the Seven, it begs the question, who is Geno? We know Geno is the leader of the Imagined Order, as revealed in the Batman Foundation comics. So if the Foundation is looking for Geno and the Sisters, it could mean that Geno has held them as prisoners, or they might even be working for him. It's possible that Geno himself might have even been a former member of the Seven, who turned evil and used his knowledge to betray them, create the Imagined Order, and take control of the bridge. And so in order to find the Sisters, the scientist first wants the current members of the Seven to be reunited, which is a big problem because of the paradigm. One of the longest running theories in the Fortnite community has been that the paradigm is singularity, and with Chapter 3, the evidence couldn't be any stronger. Audio logs left by the scientists this season reveal that they flipped the island as part of a big plan to try and destroy the Imagined Order, but the last reality, aka the caretaker smashing the glass threw all their hard work away. He mentions that if the Imagined Order managed to pull off a counterattack, the Seven could be defeated for good, so he asked the paradigm to look past their complicated history and help them once more. This is huge information because it means the paradigm and the Seven had a falling out. This puzzle piece fits perfectly into the singularity theory. It means that the Paradigm was originally a member of the Seven, but then something must have happened that led to a falling out with the group, more specifically, the Foundation. The Paradigm wanted to be the Zero Point's bodyguard, while the Foundation wanted to free it for good. So she left the Seven and became her own vigilante, changing her name to Singularity. All the way back in Chapter 1, she set up a desk in the vault of the Zero Point, keeping an eye on it 24-7, until one day a monster was born from the icy caves of Polar Peak, and Singularity had to act fast. So she got to work on a robot that will be powerful enough to defeat this monster. We know this as the final showdown. An incredibly tough battle, with the robot's arm being torn off and thrown into the ocean. And so it became pretty obvious that Singularity's robot was actually completely unequipped to defeat the monster on its own. So she improvises, heading to the vault and grabbing the zero point so she could use its power to get back in the fight. With one arm left on the robot, she picks up a sword made out of her statue and kills the monster for good. And then the robot disappears forever. Except there is one problem. Singularity ripping the zero point out of the vault left it exposed and unstable. It was her fault that the end event happened in the first place, which is why she must have felt obligated to become the paradigm again and help the seven during the event. The foundation is probably still angry at her for leaving the zero point exposed in chapter one because it helped Geno keep control of the bridge for the entirety of chapter two. He even references her during the chapter two finale, asking why she keeps making him save John Jones. All of this is building towards a huge battle between the seven and the imagined order. With both factions scrambling in the aftermath of the cube invasion, the tides are changing and it's time we explore the Seven's plan to dismantle the I.O. The Seven have received a ping from the Paradigm, which means she will be arriving on the island in the next few weeks, possibly revealing more audio logs and even more information about the history of the Seven. Meanwhile, the Foundation statue at the Sanctuary has a mysterious new location on the map. It has a locked door at the base, which is probably going to be this chapter's version of the Redacted Bunker. On the other hand, leaks for future season quests mention the Imagined Order multiple times, and we know that soon I.O. guards will be making their way onto the island. 
They're gonna have drilling equipment and will soon have to measure earthquakes for the challenges, which means the IO are probably trying to drill from the Chapter 2 island onto ours. We are getting closer and closer to a final showdown between the Imagined Order and the Seven. With the Paradigm helping to join the fight, there's only one thing left we have to wait for. Will Geno be revealed during the upcoming showdown? Why are the sisters missing from the Seven? And who the heck is the Origin? All that and more is about to be revealed as we continue with the storyline of Fortnite Chapter 3. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. It's been Tommy, and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.